So thank you for your time today. Could you tell me your name and uh, where you're from? Um, Arich uh, Birugidis. Hi. Oh, okay. Nihongo Hanashimasu ka? Demo... Ah, I forgot. Uh, yeah, it's hard. It's hard uh, yeah. to learn. Maybe you can tell us Naze Nihon Nikita. Why did you come to Japan? Um, I really wanted to go for like a long time, but uh, now I got like the opportunity to do like uh, modeling, which is really nice. Um, and uh, so you get more like into the Japanese culture because um, I work with Japanese people as well, and they like bring me to like good places for food and, and stuff. Which is really nice. Yeah. Um, so I think I, I've seen like a little bit of different uh, side of Tokyo. I would I would say, um, and I hope to see more of Japan later. Yeah, lovely. Like today. Yes. Yeah. Where are you going today? Uh, I'm going to Enoshima with a, a couple of friends. Um, just uh, we, we're going to like the there is like caves I've heard of, which sounds really nice. So I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. The beauty of Japan is that just like an hour's drive away, it's like yeah. a different world. Definitely. Um, I've only been to Takayama. Um, for, like the, that's the only time I've been out of Tokyo. But um, I really hope uh, it's going to be nice. I'm sure of it, but I really hope it's going to be nice. I'm sure it will, yeah, yeah. So could you tell me like how long you've been in Japan? And is this your first time, like have you traveled here just for holiday before? Um, I've never traveled, not even in Asia, so it's my first time. Um, I'm also 18. Wow! Yes, so, um, yeah, it's quite an experience because like everything is kind of the other way around. It's like the, the opposite almost from Europe, like uh, manners and um, just like habits, I would say. Which is not really shocking, but very different in a way. Um, but you can find like a comfort in it as well. Uh, as well. Yeah. I mean, for me as well. Did you have any big culture shocks coming here? Yeah, just like um, the lines, lines, and like uh, people always waiting for like uh, to cross. Like in Europe, people just go over the street and. That's true. Like, uh, and also, like, uh, how daytime and nighttime is so separate from each other That's here in Japan. So, you, you see, like, daytime is more uh, introvert, and, uh, like, nighttime it becomes, like, really extrovert. Mm. Like, it's so strange. Wow. And, uh, it's okay. very nice. Yeah. Okay. And can I just ask you a little bit about the industry that you work in? Because I think it's very um, unique. Like, what kind of jobs do you do, and what kind of modeling do you do, actually? Uh, it goes like, it's so, it's such a range of different things, but mostly it's for like uh, brands or magazines, I would say. Okay. Um, I prefer magazines because it's more like uh, artistic in a way, and uh, I myself am a painter, so I really like the, the creativity from uh, like magazines. Do you get in any inspiration from Japanese art for your painting? Um, I did grow grew up with like watching anime, um, like Miyazaki, for example, which was a really big inspi inspiration for me because it's like the the imagination of like a child, um, but all came out of like an old grown man, which is quite interesting to me. Um, yeah, there is like some things. Uh, of Japanese art really inspires me. Okay, one more question which is very, very important. What's the best food that you've eaten whilst in Japan? Uh, tsukimi soba. Okay. Yeah, I really love it. Oh, nice. um, and uh, I tried natto, uh, but it's too hard. <laughs> Not yet. Not yeah. yet. Um, like the taste is fine, but the smell is just too strong. I, I, I can't. It's unlike anything else. Isn't yeah, it, it is. Yeah. It is. It is. So, I'm trying to get used to it. So I'm now trying like natto candy. You have like natto wrapped in nori, wow. and that's like there is like no uh, smell to it. Yeah. So you only have the taste, which is nicer, I'd <laughs> okay. say. Okay. Well. Wow.
best of luck on your NATO adventure and also your life in Japan. Thank you very much. Thank you. you too. So, could you tell me your names and where you're visiting from? Yeah, my name is David. I'm visiting from Germany. My name is Pedro and I came from Portugal and okay. I've been living here for seven months. Oh, okay. How long have you been here? Um, for one week now. One week? Okay, okay. And what brought you both to Japan? Um, I'm basically visiting Pedro, so um, yeah, I, I, I've never been to Japan before and it was sort of a good opportunity to come here and enjoy Japan. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, so we were living together actually in Belgium and we were working in a Japanese company. So, yeah, I guess that was, well, that's the reason I came here and uh, that's also the reason I was interested in knowing a, 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 bit, a bit more about Japanese culture because uh, we had like close contact to Japanese culture in the company. And, um, yeah, so now we are here. <laughs> I guess we are enjoying a lot. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. What a dream. Yeah. So what's something that you've seen um, that's been like something you'll maybe always remember or something really wow that you've seen? I think first of all the organization here is really impressive. So how um, everyone is so disciplined uh, when they're waiting for the for the train, for example, in a line. Um, as well, the fact what really struck me is that in trains you can actually change the orientation of the backrest. So that you always sit sort of in the in direction of the in riding direction. Okay. That is, I think that's such, something so smart because in Europe we don't have it, or I've never seen it before at least. That's, yeah. 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 It's like I feel like there's so many things in Japan that people have thought about, which like it makes complete sense, but like it just does not exist in most other countries. It's yeah. like, oh yeah, what a good idea. <laughs> Yesterday we stopped in a gas station and we saw these chairs that have like a place behind to put like your bag and actually we were discussing okay you couldn't really implement this in Europe because your bag will disappear after <laughs> yeah. a, a so there are some <laughs> solutions that work in Japan that I think it, they will not work in Europe they make sense here also because of their culture yeah absolutely yeah, yeah. yeah that's true um, anything that surprised you or like wowed you uh, I think for me the thing that I really the, the, I give the most value to is how kind people are. I feel like they are really kind and sometimes I, f I have this guilty feeling. I think I should be more kind. So I, sometimes I feel like I don't deserve the help they give to me because I, I don't pay the same way, you know? So maybe that's, for me, it's the most important uh, yeah, thing ex or experience in Japan. Do you feel like you've changed since coming here seven months ago? Do you feel like you've changed in some way or your perspective has shifted? I hope so. I hope I became a little bit more kind. At least that's what I want to thrive for when I go back to Europe. I'm not sure what other changes happened in my personality. I guess I will notice when I go back and I see the gap. Yes. What are the aspects of life here in Japan that you're most enjoying? I mean, of course, people are kind and organized, but perhaps on a more, on a smaller level, like food or lifestyle. I think sort of the accessibility is really great. So if you go to a convenience store, many convenience store, I open 24 seven back in Germany, for example, even on Sundays, I'm not, I'm not able to, to get a coffee sometimes because although living in a big city, um, here it's so so custom oriented um, so I think that is something that is really really impressive here but maybe it's also because I mean Japan is a very big country right 130 million I think population so maybe they have to be that organized and that um, everything has to be accessible at any time because otherwise it just wouldn't work but I do feel like it's just like kind of in the nature of Japanese you know like the way that they're kind of like more cautious than Europeans for us it's kind of like oh it's not necessary but for them it's just like the way of being kind of thing yeah yeah I think we do agree on that as I said we were working in a Japanese company and at work is like 
80% of the time of a project is planning and then 20% implementing and checking results. So like, and uh, we feel this in Japan, everything has rules, like there's a process for everything. If you make a non-standard request, it's mayhem, like it's very, yeah, it's panic. <laughs> Yeah, so I do feel that, I feel like there's a lot, sometimes there's too much bureaucracy or too much papers to fill in, you know, but once the process is triggered, it's very smooth, everything goes, goes well properly. Yeah, that's a really good point, yeah. Good, okay, and I'll ask you one more question, which is very, very important. Um, what's the best food that you've eaten whilst here in Japan? Oh, that's a um, difficult question. I really like katsu curry. Katsu curry, okay, yeah, nice, yeah. It's really nice. It's, it's just such a good meal. It's, <laughs> it's really tasty. Yeah. I, I like miso ramen. And also, I think that Hokkaido ice cream, the milk ice cream, it's underrated. I think okay. it's really, really good. All right, well, please enjoy as much soft serve and katsu curry whilst you're here. Thank you. And uh, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Bye bye. <laughs>